And more than 60% of people who come through the door at the South Tulsa Community Center are skipping meals to make ends meet every month. Staff at the food pantry say many of them are working, but the jobs pay only minimum wage. My first reaction is we do need to make a step. Uh, my second reaction is, is I don't know that that's enough. Senate Bill 102 would increase Oklahoma's minimum wage from $7.25 to $10.50 an hour. But for this area, the poverty rate for a family of four is just over $11, and food pantries worry many would still have to skip meals. When you have a senior doing that, that puts a senior in a vulnerable place. You have mother skipping meals or eating very little so her kids can eat. That just doesn't create the best situation for families. The director says those in the neighborhood who work minimum wage jobs often don't have consistent hours. What's going to happen to those folks that are working when the wage goes up to $10 an hour? How are employees going to respond as it relates to will they cut hours even more? Will they make people work even harder on those positions? There's also the concern of the price of goods going up along with wages. How is a company going to cover the cost of increased wage, increased FICA? Something has to give and typically the consumer ends up being the one that pays for that. In Riverwood, close to 70% of people are working, but the poverty rate is higher than the state and city average. Senate Bill 102 would be introduced this session, and staff here say it would be a step in the right direction. Reporting live in South Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.